When building a formula, especially on another machine or a new machine, you can run into this problem. So I need to build an if function here. So I'm just going to type it equals if. I'm going to say is that bigger than zero? Semicolon must be eight percent, twelve percent. I'm going to close. When I click enter, it tells me it tells me there's a problem with the formula. Let's try a different way of doing it. So if that is bigger than zero, semicolon. And again, it gives me a problem. The issue here is often the semicolon. So in this case, on this machine, if I type it, I should be going equals if that is bigger than zero, comma, do something, otherwise comma, do something else. And then you'll see it works. So if you get that message, a couple of things to be aware of. As you start typing, equals if, open bracket, Notice that there's a little bit of a help here, and the delimiter you need to use is actually shown. So you can see there's a comma, there's a comma. So on this machine, I need commas. Another way to do it as well is if you use the function wizard, you don't need to worry about it. So if I go if, and you build it up like this, whatever your computer uses as a delimiter, it will be included. So if that is bigger than zero, if it's true, I'm just going to type 8%, but notice the computer knows it needs a comma, and therefore it puts it in. So you need to just check whether your machine uses a comma, semicolon, or something else to delimit formula.